friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to add events on outlook using your c sharp .net web application so what we will be doing is we will create a asp.net mvc web application and then when then we will see how we can add events from your programming code and how even we can get the list of the events from outlook okay so what we have here is we have to first of all go to project and manage nugget packages there you have to find the nugget package microsoft.exchange.web services you have to install this package in your application after you have done installing the package what you have to do is you have to go to the controller and here we have two codes the first one is for getting all the events from your outlook account and second one is for adding new events so we will be watching both of these so this is the service that you have to use for creating events in outlook this will not be changed so we are getting that in a variable then you will need credentials for your outlook account so you will need a email and password and that you will use for your outlook account after you get these three things we can proceed so this exchange service is provided by microsoft.exchange.webservices.data namespace so you have to add this namespace in your controller and then you will be able to uh, access exchange service so this service will be using the url which we have written here okay so we will be passing the url here to the service later we are passing the credentials to the service for for it to login into that and so it can get the appointments and the events from that account so after that what we are doing is we are finding the calendar folder from the account using the service that we have created here so we are using service x here and we are getting all the events from the start date and end date so we are getting all the events for the next 30 days okay so after that uh, we are getting the events result into this appointments which is coming from calendar dot find appointments now this method also will not change so you have to use the code as it is you don't have to change many things about apart from the email and password so i have created one class here that will have some properties so just for showing i will i have just taken three properties that are subject start date and end date okay so you can add more properties that you will receive in this appointment object so we will be adding a breakpoint here and we will see how it is working okay so now i will run the application this is index page so it will run by default and on the view side what i have done is i have created a table for showing the data okay so we will run the application so here we have our outlook account that we have used in the video so here you can see two events created for 23 july okay so now we are using the service okay so this is the url that you are getting here then you are passing the username password and then calling the service will give us the appointments or events that we have here so you can see this appointment object will have the items that are from your outlook account so we will see so because that doesn't have all the properties so these properties some of them will throw error so we will see few of them like the end date is here and uh, id that you are getting here so these there are few things that you will get uh, you can get all other things when you will save while creating the event so just for your information i have just added few of them so we will see only those okay so now we will try this is the loop that we are making on the list that we are getting two items okay so here i have just got subject which is tennis lesson and you can see this is the same that we have here okay so it is getting the same 
appointment or event then we have the start date and then we have the end date and then it will look for second event there and that also have the same subject so it will be getting both of this now our page will be rendered here so you can see two events are here start date and end date are here okay now what we will try is we will try to add new event okay so for add event we will still use the same service and same credentials and it is almost the same it is just we have to use appointment dot save method here and this will save the data so here you can see i have just saved the subject body start date and date and location there are many more properties available that you can use for saving so we are passing the service to the appointment object and then we are passing the data that we want to save okay and then we are saving the appointment okay then we, it will redirect to the index page now we will click on our button here and it will get to the add appointment method then it is using the same aws url and it will create a appointment object here so you can see so it still have lot of properties so you can use those but for now i have only use few of those okay so for example and date categories body so i have used few of those so now save method is fired and okay so now we will click on continue and you will notice that in the outlook account we have received one notification go to night event so this is the same event that we have created from our code and you will also get that in the list event api so we can see that our event is here now so this is how you can create event in the microsoft outlook and also how you can get events from microsoft outlook so thanks for watching guys and even if you want the source code for this application then um, you can download from you can search codetonight.com that is our official website and i will also provide the link so here you will find microsoft outlook you see this blog here on the right side the third one microsoft outlook add appointment and get appointment using asp.net mvc so you have to click on that and it will open up our blog so there you will find the code that i just that i have used you can replace your outlook email and password and then you will be able to use that okay so if you have any kind of issue then you can comment on the video uh, thanks for watching guys